Hey everyone, today we're going to be exploring the ancient ruins of Mount Nemrut, an archaeological mystery tucked away in the mountains of northern Turkey. Piecing together history is a hard job. We only have a general time frame for the construction of Mount Nemrut, at somewhere between 2,000 to 3,000 years old. The civilization behind the construction is still unknown, but we have some compelling clues. Archaeologists in 1881 thought the site to be the tomb of the Greek king Antiochus because of the Greek carvings found etched into the sides of a stone. However, a discovery made in 1947 completely changed everything we thought we knew about Mount Nemrut. Five megalithic statues at 40 feet tall, depicting the Zoroastrian gods. Artangis, the god of victory. Or Mazdas, the creator of earth and the father of gods. And Mithra, god life, light, and justice. The statues are distinctly wearing the Armenian royal crown, giving us more evidence to their origins. The Armenian crown also appears on Roman coins as a symbol of the Armenian kingdom. The pyramid-shaped mountain was artificially built on top of another mountain with small stones. It was built from a base of 6,900 feet with stones not native to the area. The artificial mountain has a height of 165 feet, equivalent to a 17-story building, and a road has been created in a circular shape up the mountain. In terms of stonework, the sophistication of the cutting reflects the work of high technology not the work of hunter-gatherers as some people claim. The accuracy and precision of the carvings is unlikely to be the work of chisels, but the possibility of high technology in ancient times is generally ignored and even ridiculed by archaeologists. And the methods used to construct these statues remains a mystery, as no tools have ever been found. What's interesting is the Astral Lion statue, with dimensions of 3 feet tall and 7 feet wide. The 19 stars distributed over the lion's body clearly form the constellation of Leo, Astronomers were able to calculate the position of the stars from the statue to the position of the stars in roughly July 109 BC, making this statue the oldest evidence of a horoscope in the world depicting Leo. In 76 BC, this Armenian kingdom was invaded and decimated by the Romans. They destroyed statues and even went so far as to cut off the noses of their gods in an attempt to declare dominance. We might never know the true story of this ancient culture. But as technology improves and academia opens up to the ideas of high technology, we might finally get a glimpse into the lives of these ancient peoples. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe and leave a comment on topics you'd like me to cover next. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace!